our clear cut sign symptoms of an opiate overdose we have to watch for. Here's what we have here. Respiratory depression. What that means. Remember, an adult patient that is a respiratory rate of under 12. So we're talking about 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, none, lower. The, when you get to this patient, most of the time, they're going to end up being unresponsive and in respiratory arrest. That is your classic case. So they're not breathing at all. They're apneic or an apnea. Pinpoint pupils bilaterally, okay, on both sides. Cyanosis is discoloration of the skin, blooming of the skin. It can happen in the skin. It can happen around the lips, right? Obviously the nail beds, but really look at around the lips. For example, you'll see skin. Unresponsiveness, so they're unresponsive, usually found again on the floor, because it could be you know slumped over, right, sitting, but usually on the floor from my experience. Now, two other pearls. I want, I'll do the start one last is what I want to tell you. Why did I write possible vomiting in the airway? Well, as a patient gets more sedated from the opiate, what can happen is nausea vomiting is very common with opiate overdose. So you should suspect there could be vomit in the airway so what this means, if we're approaching the patient, we want to have suction on standby. Again, if we're managing anyone's airway, we need to have suction on standby. Just a little pearl I want to remind you about, okay? So about the possible vomiting. Also, when they wake up, they may even have vomiting as well and be nauseous. So we want to treat that. So just it's a quick pearl to keep in the back here about the vomiting, opiates. Okay, got it. Now, here's a star one. How do we wake up? Really, that was just really, really like confirmed, confirmed, confirmed. It's not always going to happen, my friends, but you may find that a bystander, an acquaintance, a friend, a witness is there to basically confirm, yeah, he or she overdosed. Like I was with them, or I was with her, and they took this, and now they're like this. And then you see all this, it's pretty clear cut. The reason I started is that it's not, oh, it's not always the case. A lot of times you find this patient, a bystander goes, oh, someone's unresponsive and calls 911 and then they find out what it is. So this is key.